Hi Internet, it's me again, Antoinette Falcon, and today we are reviewing Hatchet by Gary Porter. So this book is young adult slash survival and it definitely lives up to that genre. There's nothing else. There's no magic, no science fiction, no weird stuff, no romance, just hardcore man against the elements. Or in this case, boy against the elements, and it gets rough. This book is probably too adult, even for young like Brian. The violence, the pain, the suffering that's depicted in this is harsh. It's honestly a bit terrifying. Then, the pacing in this is breakneck. This kid does not sit still. Then his parents are having a divorce, then he's falling out of the sky, and then it gets worse. It's... He, he, he just doesn't get a break. Then the sugar of this book, you live in it. You experience every moment. Those vivid, violent depictions, you are there. You know what Brian feels like. He doesn't need to explain himself to you. You, you know. You're there. You're there with him every step of the way. Each mosquito bite, you feel. Each bug crawling on his skin, you're there with him. This book is immersive, and it's amazing. Then the vinegar of this, the character. Brian, he's a bit... He's your window into this world, but he's blank. There's no real emotional connection there. You're going through it with him, but he could might as well have not been there. He's just your conduit into this. He doesn't have his own perspective, really. He doesn't have a subjective opinion about it. Things, things are happening. He's doing things. And so it goes. Would I recommend? Yes, but not for the faint of heart. Okay, the world, and then by definition, your perspective into the world. As I said, is through Brian's eyes. It's super immersive. You know what he knows. You see what he sees. If he doesn't know about the bear, you don't know about the bear. If he doesn't know how to start a fire, neither do you. If he doesn't know those berries are poisonous, neither do you. You learn everything with him, and it's really interesting. Um, so it makes the world feel more real than ours, somehow. You question whether you're really here, because Brian definitely exists. And can both of you exist at the same time? Can this message exist in heaven? There's basically one character in this book, and that is Brian. His mother's there for a bit, his father's mentioned that Pilot exists for a brief while. But mostly it's Brian. And he's meh. Brian is what happens to him. He is his experiences, and his experiences feel like your experiences, so is Brian there? Yeah. Now Brian is beaten to a bloody pulp in this book. So he crashes, and his injuries are real, and he's exhausted, and he lays on the sand for what feels like days, and just... I, he's just going to die, but then unfortunately he survives and now has to deal with this pain, but now he's hungry too, and the bugs have been eating on his rotten flesh. And... Ugh. There's insects and gross bugs everywhere. Violence, disease, hunger, injuries, bears, and it's all, it's brutal and it's violent and he... It's brutal and it's violent and it's right doesn't hold back. Everything that would have been felt in this situation, you are there feeling it with him. This is why I'm saying it's not for the faint of heart. This kid gets through it all and he survives it all. And ironically enough, only when we get to the point where we're not hoping every second that somebody comes to save this poor kid, does he get saved. Only once he's okay, does help finally come. Before that, like, could nobody send a plane while this kid was lying, dying? So, the ending is very ironic. 
Only when he doesn't need help does he finally get that. Is that people philosophical? Maybe. Is it a pretty good ending? Definitely. So that was my opinion. Check down in the description to see other people's reviews. And I'll see you next week. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think.